Hello, guys. Actually, my name is Guillaume Shenja, and in this very short video, I'm going to take you through laboratory apparatuses and their usefulness. The first lab apparatus is Baker. Baker or Bakers, this is the picture of Baker. Bakers are used or are useful as a reaction container or hold liquid or some or liquid or solid samples. They are also used to catch up liquid from titrations and filtrate from filtering operations. Second, measuring cylinders. Measuring cylinder, as you can see here on this picture, this is how measuring cylinders look like. Measuring cylinders, also called graduated cylinders, are for measurements of an amount of liquid. The volume of liquid can be estimated to be nearest 0.1 milliliter with practice. The third droppers, as you can see here on this picture, this is how droppers look like. Droppers are used for addition of liquids drop by drop. I repeat, droppers are used for holding liquids drop by drop during the experiment. Then number four is volumetric thrust. Volumetric thrust, as you can see on this picture, this is how volumetric thrust looks like. Volumetric thrust are used to measure precise volumes of liquids or to make precise deletions. Number five, Erimaya thrust. Erimaya thrust. This is how Erimaya thrust looks like. Are useful to contain a reaction or to hold the liquid samples. That is the main use for of the Erimaya thrust. They are also useful to catch up or to catch filtrate. Number six, test tube holders. As you can see on the picture, this that. Uh, that's test tube holders. Test tube holders. The main function of test tube holders are for ho holding test tubes when it tubes should not be touched or when tubes cannot be touched. We usually use test tube holders. Then number seven, tongs. Tongs are similar in function to, to forceps, but are useful for large items. Number eight, glass funnels. Glass funnels. Glass funnels are for funneling liquids from one container to another for filtering when equipped with filter paper. Then number nine, test tubes. Test tube, as you can see on this picture, this is how test tubes look like. And the uh, test tubes are for holding small samples or for containing scale reactions. Test tubes. Here on number 10 are Bunsen burners or Bunsen burn. The following picture is of uh, Bunsen burn. Bunsen burners are a source of heat. We usually use Bunsen burn in a lab when we are heating. Then number 10 is a clay triangle. These clay triangles are placed on a ring attached to a ring stand as support for a funnel, crucible, or evaporating dish. Then number 12, bullets. Bullets, this is the picture of bullets. Bullets are for addition of precise volume of liquid. The volume of liquid ordered can be determined to be nearest 0.0 milliliter with practice. And the watch grace number 13. Watch graces. This watch grace or watch graces are used for holding small samples or for covering bakers or evaporating dishes. What wash bottles or washing bottle number 14. This washing bottle or wash bottle are used for dispersing small quantities of, of distilled water. Then number 15 is wire goose. 
wire goes this wire goes on uh, a ring supports bakers to be heated by a Bunsen burner we are now approaching the end so before I conclude I would like to remind you guys that after using laboratory apparatuses remember to keep them clean remember to clean them after an experiment we are now approaching the end I would like to thank you very much for keeping in touch with us also I would like to remind you to hit the subscription button down light on the light side you hit the subscription button for more videos and thank you very much for being in touch with us now this is the end of our video may god bless you